assalamu alaikum everyone and today we are going to be talking about formulas for trigonometric functions so in this trigonometry series we've had a lot to do with functions we looked over our trigonometric identities a little and we'll go over that a little later but we have some formulas we've left out so let's look let's look into these formulas in one video so there are a few types of formulas we'll be seeing today the sum and difference formulas the double angle formulas half angle formulas and last but not least power reducing formulas so let's look over the sum and difference formulas for sine now so here sine alpha plus beta is equals to sine alpha cosine beta plus sine, cosine alpha sine beta and for minus it's basically the same thing but with the operation reversed we can use these to express and solve for the sum of two other common angles let's take a look at this example sine of pi 5 pi over 12. now if you remember our unit circle 5 pi over 12 is not on the unit circle but 5 pi over 12 can be expressed as a 2 pi over 12 plus 3 pi over 12 which can be reduced to pi over 4 plus pi over 6. So sine of pi over 4 plus pi over 6 we assign pi over 4 as alpha so sine of pi over 4 cosine pi over 6 plus cosine pi over 4 sine pi over 6 and this simplifies to square root of 6 plus square root of 2 over 4. Now these formulas are different for cosine. For cosine, the cosine alpha plus beta is equal to cosine alpha cosine beta minus sine alpha sine beta and for subtraction cosine alpha minus beta is equal to cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine alpha sine beta and for tangent we just look over the sine and the cosine and we get tangent alpha plus beta is equals to tangent alpha plus tangent beta over 1 minus tangent alpha tangent beta and for tangent alpha minus beta we get tangent alpha minus tangent beta all over 1 plus tangent alpha tangent beta so that's our first bit the sum and difference formulas and as we saw in our last example the, we can use these to express the sum of two common angles preferably on the unit circle second type is the double angle formulas and the double angle formulas are given here so we can use these formulas uh, in this example uh, say we have a 4 3 5 triangle and this is theta sine sine theta is 3 over 5 because opposite over hypotenuse cosine is 4 over 5 so what is sine 2 theta the cosine value is important because of the formula so let's plug it into the formula 2 times 3 over 5 times 4 over 5 is uh, according to this workout 24 over 25 and you can also check this if, if you want 
Now let's look at a much more interesting type of formulas. These are the power reducing formulas. Let's look over here. Say we have cosine 2 theta. It, it's equal to cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Now we can express this in different forms. Because so here cosine 2 theta can be expressed as either 2 cosine squared theta minus 1 or cosine 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square theta. In, these, in both of these examples, we can solve for the cosine square theta term and we get cosine square theta is equal to 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2. For the sine, we solve for sine square theta and we get sine square theta is equal to 1 minus 2 theta over 2. Here, we're expressing sine squared theta as cosine theta, reducing the squared term. And similarly, on the cosine example. As for tangent, we do the exact same thing we did with the sum and difference formulas. Now, let's look over our last, ex last type of formula, but not least, that is the half angle formula sort of like double angle formula but this time the concept is that it is half of a given angle that is preferably in the unit circle say we have this oh, equation with sine squared theta here we replace theta with x over 2 and we solve for sine x over 2 and we get plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine x over 2. Here um, we can do the same for cosine and get cosine x uh, over 2 is plus or minus 1 plus cosine x over 2. And lastly, for tangent, we do the same thing, which is tangent x over 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 minus cosine x over 1 plus cosine. Now, we keep seeing this plus or minus term. Now, it's not just random or uh, the positive or negative answer like we'd see in, say, algebra. <laughs> Instead, here we define what quadrant we are in on the unit circle. For example, if we are 30 over 2 degrees, which is 15 degrees, this is positive sine and positive cosine. So the answer will naturally be positive. If it's a negative quadrant, then it will be negative. Let's look at this example. Let's evaluate sine pi over 12. This is not on the unit circle, but it, this is half of pi over 6. So sine of pi over 12 is equal to square root of 1 minus cosine pi over 6 over 2. And we do the workout and we get square root of uh, 6 minus square root of 2 over 4. Now one other type of uh, the formulas as a bonus. Now you don't really need to remember these because they're really hard to memorize and you it's just better for you to know that they exist than to actually take the time to memorize them. You, you can use these when necessary. These are the product to sum and sum to product formulas and they are given here. I did say that they were hard to memorize. Let's take an example here ju just so you know how to use it. So sine of 9x plus sine of 5x is equal to 
and we plug in the formula 2 sine of 9x plus 5x over 2 times cosine of 9x minus 5x over 2. We do the workout and we get 2 sine 7x cosine 2. So that was a pretty dense amount of formulas. You've probably had enough of them. Well, you're in good luck because we're almost, almost done with trigonometry. And if we can finish our trigonometry and algebra series, we might be able to continue towards physics. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like the vi video if you liked it. And share this video to anyone who might need it. And please make sure to subscribe if you want and be notified every time I make a video. And thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.